Prince William is expressing his horror over Britain's role in slavery. The Duke of Cambridge addressed the topic during a speech in Jamaica Wednesday night, lamenting the role his nation played in the trafficking of people to the Caribbean and the U.S., and sharing solidarity with Jamaica's vision for its future, saying in part, I want to express my profound sorrow. Slavery was abhorrent, and it should never have happened. While the pain runs deep, Jamaica continues to forge its future with determination, courage, and fortitude. The strength and shared sense of purpose of the Jamaican people represented in your flag and motto, celebrate an invincible spirit. William and his wife, Kate Middleton, attended the official dinner at King's House. Governor General of Jamaica, Sir Patrick Allen, who represents Queen Elizabeth, lives at the estate. The 39-year-old's remarks coincide with anti-colonial protests he and Kate have faced on their Caribbean tour, and Jamaica's expressed interest in pursuing independence and cut ties with the British monarchy. William also reflected on the opportunity to spend time in Jamaica and noted his grandmother's personal connection with the country. It is no secret that the Queen has a deep affection for Jamaica, forged on her very first visit here with my grandfather, the Duke of Edinburgh, in 1953. And likewise, I have been touched to hear today from Jamaicans, young and old, about their affection for the Queen. She may be my actual grandmother, but everyone counts her as their grandmother too, and I'm okay with that. The Duke concluded his speech by sharing how happy he and the Duchess are to finally experience firsthand what Jamaica's famous phrase, one love, really means, saying, Already in our short time here, Catherine and I are delighted to have felt what Bob Marley described so many years ago, the spirit of one love that Jamaica has given to the world and which makes this country so special. Catherine and I only wish we had more time to spend with you all in Jamaica. There's so much more to learn. I hope this will be one of many visits and next time we'd love to bring our children too. Governor General, thank you again for hosting us all tonight. I hope you all have a happy evening and one love. The royal couple will depart Jamaica on Thursday before wrapping their Caribbean tour in the Bahamas.